Okay, here is a quick, easy, and important test uh, that you can do for all of your uh, kitchen knives to make sure that they're good for chopping and, and slicing up, up to the task. Uh, particularly for any sort of knife that you're going to be doing chopping jobs with, it's important that the edge makes contact with the cutting board. I think that's clear, right? But what can happen if a knife has been uh, used for a long time without being sharpened or it's been sharpened uh, poorly or on some some um, some inexpensive type of sharpeners is you can end up with with the, with the edge not being flat. Um, you can see that with a, with a backlight holding it down on a flat surface. But here's a simple test that everybody can do at home. Take the knife that you want to check, Put it flat uh, down on a, on a surface and see if you can pass a piece of paper underneath uh, and, and look at that. So anywhere that the, the paper slides easily underneath the blade, I know that the edge is not touching the, 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 the surface there. So if I'm trying to chop, I'm not going to be chopping uh, with, with this part of the blade. A knife that's been well sharpened should sit flat against the surface and you can't pass piece of paper underneath. So in chopping jobs, this whole length of edge is, is working for me. So that's a simple test uh, that you can do. I, I encourage you to go and try that out now with uh, the knives that you have in your kitchen. Um, and any that give you this sort of result, um, they need they need to be sharpened uh, with, the, with the edge made straight again, uh, because you're only really using a, a part of the knife. Thank you. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again.